number one. The other thing that Jess and I have been talking about was we're going down parallel paths. We fight to keep it open, which this group's doing, and providing significant uh, embarrassment to UPMC doing it, which I think puts the pressure on them. And we're going to do more of that. And the other side, what Jess and I were talking about in the group of Heritage was if they do close this, which they intend to do, I mean, they're not, they're not even hinting that they're not going to close it, but you know, they're moving ahead December, January 31st to close it, is that what is our ask of them if it does close? Because I believe, to your point, we can ask and be very aggressive on what they agree to put in their long-term lease and wise. If it's not a hospital, if it's mental health, if it's an emergency care center on the first floor, uh, if it's whatever other services they have. Uh, also, what's our ask for them for capital dollars? Because if we convert that field, it's going to be a lot of money. It's going to be a lot of money involved, and they should step up and pay for it, because they own it. Don't give it to us to put that burden on the taxpayers' back. We should be asking for money. What's the effect on Braddock's operating budget? Because, Jesse, had, I know it was on top of your head. You had time to look at it. It was ninety to $100,000 a year that was hitting Braddock. There was money. Oh, they should fill that hole at a multi-year agreement through a pilot program, pay them as little taxes. And then fourth, um, uh, what do we do with the ownership of the building long term? Uh, what, what do we do with it? Now, that's plan B, because obviously that's assuming it's closing. The other the, the path you're going down is to fight the closing. Uh, Jesse asked me to make sure that I told Roma that he wants a meeting with them uh, when we go and do this ask. I saw Jeff and I told him that he agreed. I said, we're not ready to ask though, because we're not sure what our ask is, and I wasn't going to lowball it. But that's what Dennis and Heritage Group, the community group, is putting together what that big ask is. And it should be, I say push the envelope, push the envelope. If in fact they're going to close it, and Jesse's first ask was, ask for a longer time. We need more time right now from that closure. But also, whatever that date is, what do we want in that building if they do leave it? Because they own it. So what services should go in there, how much we want? All those issues should be part of this ask. I'll, I'll take your question in a second. So the, the, the only thing I'm asking is, as we walk, work over there, that's what we're putting together. But we won't go with the ask unless we go together. I mean, the county, Braddock, the community group, whatever you want, heritage group, and then we're going to say, here's what we want. Here's what you need to do. If you're going to walk out of here, here's what we're at. And then we'll see what they say. And we'll see if we can push the envelope as far as we can. I think we can, by the way, because I think they are feeling the heat right now. Uh, but I also think that uh, knowing them, they're not going to change their decision. 